Hi, it's Steve. In this video, we'll show you how to free up a stuck button on a push button style blender. We'll show you how to disassemble your blender, how to access the push button assembly, and clean it so that it works properly. Now, our first step will be to remove the jar from the blender. And first, we'll do a visual inspection of the buttons to see if there's anything physically lodged in that opening that can be easily removed. You can use something like a, an old soft bristled toothbrush and just brush out anything that may be in the area. If that doesn't rectify the problem, we'll next disassemble that blender base so that we can access that switch assembly. We suggest that you not put any type of lubricant or liquid in those openings as it is an electrical switch and that could cause a shock hazard. So our next step will be to remove the bottom from the blender base and before we do that we'll verify that the unit is unplugged, carefully lay it on its side and identify where the mounting screws may be for that bottom cover. In some cases there may be screws hidden behind the rubber feet so you may need to pop those out and verify that there are no screws at the bottom of that opening. With the mounting screws removed, we'll grasp both halves of that assembly and then carefully separate them. Now with the unit disassembled, we have a good visual of the push buttons and we can check to see if there is anything that is caught in that area that may be restricting those push buttons from moving freely. If need be, you can remove anything with a small flat blade screwdriver. If the problem is not with the push buttons binding on that housing, the problem is most likely in that switch. It can be replaced and typically they are mounted to that housing with screws that may be hidden behind the label on the front. You can also try an electrical contact cleaner in this area to see if that may allow those buttons to work freely again. If that doesn't resolve your problem, you may need to replace that switch assembly, and if it's not available, you'll need to discard the blender and purchase a new one. Need help with anything else around your home? Search our channel for thousands of helpful videos that will walk you through your home repairs. For more information or the parts needed for these repairs, don't forget to check out PartSelect.com. Thank you so much for watching and be sure to subscribe so you don't miss a thing.